how you envisioned your, your last game? Um, could, I mean, you really couldn't get any better than this uh, as far as like the, the game itself. Um, we dominated, I feel like, up front and um, as offense as a whole. Um, couldn't, couldn't be a better feeling. What was that feeling like for you walking off the field for the last time? Uh, I think it's going to be, uh, I, I'm going to realize how, you know, it's going to come around to me later. Um, but I, I took my time reading the field, definitely. Beyond facing an offense like that one, how important was it to get them rattled early and kind of get them out of their comfort zone for you guys? Um, we, um, I guess it was a, a big deal. Um, you know, we knew they passed the ball you know, pretty efficiently. And we knew we had to you know, make him throttle them well. And, you know, Coach was st stressing that all year. So uh, I think we did a pretty good job with that. Now, chase him down, I think we, we could have worked on that a little bit more. Yeah, you know, how did you get so much pressure? Um, I have to give that to, to the coaches, you know, uh, making sure we um prepared and knowing what they're doing. And, you know, the guys going 100% giving the maximum effort on every play. Dion, did that interception at the goal line during the second half, did that feel like that changed some things in the game? Oh, uh, yeah, that was big. Uh, and, uh, you know, it was a great play by Ricky, you know, keeping the ball, you know, live after uh, Shaq made a good breakup. And uh, I think I really needed that one because I was getting a little winded. <laughs> Riddell, how much did the, the passing game kind of help the running game? It seemed like there was a stretch where they were stopping your run and then you hit like a little pass to DRs and then Moynihan ran it in after that. Oh, uh, no doubt. Um, you know, Brandon played a really good game and, we, uh, and right when we needed it, um, he executed a great, great pass, uh, passing yards and passing plays. Um, our receivers and our tight ends, and uh, like I said, the check downs all were phenomenal. Um, it was definitely right on time. Riddell, he, he hit on some what we call a YOLO ball, you know, just kind of jump balls and didn't get involved. Is that, is that what football has kind of has evolved into, taking those chances? Do you think that's something that we've seen to our benefit from down the road? Well, you know, when you have the type of athletes we have in the perimeter at wide out and, and deep and tight end, um, when, he, when the ball is when the uh, coverage is 50-50 and it looks like um, he's, he's anybody can get the ball, that's you know we believe that throwing up to him. Um, our athletes are our guys who come down with it, and that's just how we feel about it. But how did you expect uh, Sharp to run for a 79-yard touchdown? Oh no doubt, because I know they haven't haven't seen how fast that guy is. He is they have a great speed, and I was trying to run run with him, and <laughs> he's just leaving me. So, but uh, um, the guy is incredible. With all, did you feel their defense on their heels in that third quarter when you guys tried to push them around a little bit? Um, no doubt. Um, you know, when you when you um, impose your will as far as the run game, you know, you know, they put they had, you know, let's be real here, they had about nine, maybe sometimes ten guys in the box, you know. And uh, when you impose your will physically on on this front seven, um, you know, and make the make the safeties force them to make tackles, you know, in the third and fourth quarter, I doubt they'll tackle number seven or five. Talk about Leonard a little bit more. Just you know, so much we've seen out of him this season. It seemed like he might have gotten madder as the season went along, and maybe took some of that out in the competition. Oh, with a guy that's uh, as competitive as Leonard, um, you know, you know, coming to this game, he wanted to prove that he's that running back that everybody believes he is, and obviously we believe in him. Uh, he's the best running back in the country, in my opinion. Debo, what was it like to finish out? the year as a whole for you after being special teams guy for so long and, and then a backup and then kind of being the leading tackler? Oh man, this whole year has really been a blessing, man. And, um, uh, it's kind of hard to leave it all behind, but this year has really been special, man. There's uh, a lot of lifelong dreams that they've fulfilled, you know, playing for LSU defense and, you know, uh, getting after it and being the leading tackler. I mean, that's what I dreamed of all the time when I was young watching LSU. So yeah, it's, it's Uh, he told me about two or three days ago um, that he was going to change it up and be on the sideline. How did uh, that affect things? I thought it, thought it worked one, like wonders. Uh, he was he was talking to us. He came down after every drive, communicated with us, and kind of where his mind at and where we were going with things. And I thought it was a great, a great, uh, a great decision he made to do that. Dion, how much 